Hello and welcome to Homespun 2020, a presentation by the Mill Museum and funded in part by the Last Green Valley. In the 1800s and early 1900s, people had herb gardens or herb gardens where they grew herbs and they used them to flavor their food like we do today, culinary herbs, and they also used them as medicinal herbs, things that they could make a tea and it would help them feel better. Some people do that today. And also spices are also used to flavor your food. So we're going to take some spices and we're going to make a painting. This is a spice painting. So this is what we need. I have here some spices and these are, these are kind of old. They've been around for a long time. They probably lost their flavor. I can still smell them and I can see their colors, but I've had them in my cupboard for, for years. So they're not really good for flavoring food. So I have some paprika and I put a little of that in a paper cup. So I also have some curry powder and some mustard, which gives me a bright yellow, and some savory, which gives me a green, and I have a container of pepper, which gives me a black. And so I need my spices, and I need some paper cups to put them in, and I need a little bit of water, I need some paper. Now I have here a piece of cardboard because it's going to get wet and a regular piece of paper will get, might get too wet. So a piece of cardboard is good or even a canvas that you can purchase a canvas at a, at a discount store. And I need some paint brushes and um, I need maybe some coffee stirrers or some little sticks. And now I'm ready to paint. Okay, so this is how you mix up the paint. I'm gonna take a paper cup and I'm gonna take a little of the spice and I just need a little bit, just a little bit. And of course you shouldn't do this in anybody's spice cabinet without asking. So, but you could use some cinnamon, you could use some uh, different spices that smell good, things that you may have used in baking. Now I'm going to add some glue, and I need glue that is either dries clear, is clear or dries clear, and I'm gonna put that in because that's what keeps the spice on your paper. So it's gonna have a little bit of glue, and it's going to have a little bitty tiny drop of water. So now I'm going to mix it up. So it has just a little a pinch of spice, a little bit of glue and a little drop of water. And now I've made spice paint. Mmm, I can smell it, it smells so good. And now I'm gonna pick up one of these colors and I'm gonna work on my painting here. So I think I'm going to add a little yellow from the, from the mustard. One of the things about spice painting is these colors are really kind of subdued. They are pastel. They're not bright and bold. Um, that's not the look that you get with spice painting. And I'm gonna take a little more of this and put this on. It does give it a texture because it's, and now I'm gonna do a little more with uh, the leaves. The savory is the one that's just a little bit like green. Again, it's a, it's a dull green. It's... All right, so now this is my painting that I have painted some fruit with spices. And it smells good and I can take this opportunity to learn about what spices there are and where they come from and what we use them for to flavor our food. So I hope you have fun doing some spice painting and thank you for joining us on 
Homespun 2020. Program presents ideas of activity you might have around the house using things that 